Hey Scrappers, I'm back with another tutorial and I'm going to show you how to use your Quick Cuts dies inside your Cuddle Bug. So, I'm going to show you first. You can use your, um, just with um, regular cardstock. You're going to want to use, um, no shims necessary when you use your regular cardstock with your Quick Cuts dies. And these are very thin dies, so if you do have a cuddle bug manual that shows you how to use your dies because they don't all come with um, this section on using um, different brand dies and then all you have to do is you take your A plate which is or your white plate you take your B plate and I face all my dies down so I'm going to take the B plate that has all my cuts in it that goes down and then your cardstock on the rule would be um, always place your cardstock on the plate that you want the um, the cutting to to score the plate. So then you're going to take your die and just place it on top of your cardstock, and um, you want the foam side down. And then you're going to take your C plate and right on top that completes your sandwich and then run it right through it's not very snug at all if you were if you preferred it to um, not have to pop it out which it's not a big deal but if you want it to be easier and just kind of fall out it would put a shim and I'll show you how to use the shim in my next one um, with using thinner paper vellum and things of that nature you are going to want to use shims and play just play around with that a little bit just so the sandwich is tighter also using thicker cardstock and this is you know it's pretty thick cardstock um, do not recommend using chipboard because the dies are extremely thin and they're not um, big enough the actual part where it cuts is not um, thick enough to cut chipboard but it will cut this nice uh, thin or slightly thick um, cardstock. So you're going to do your A plate, your B plate, cardstock, and then you're going to do your die facing down. And this is where you want to put the shims on top of your die. Now I use two shims because I think it works best and I just use the shims that come with the dies. Every single die comes with a shim. All your quick cuts dies come with shims. So I have two different sizes because I had a different size die. These are um, they're actually supposed to be you peel them and then there's a sticker this little clear extremely thin sticker that you just stick on top of your die and um, I'll show you as you can do that if you put this little clear shim on and you can't see it but you can see the the glare because that shim is on there now and then you're gonna want to take um, the other shim and I'm still gonna use this white part here and then you're just gonna place that on top take your C plate put your C plate on top and it's starting to move around and then you just push it through your machine and you will feel that it's snug but it will turn and go all the way through now if you guys have never used a cuddle bug um, when you flip the doors down it suction cups but after you use it for a while it, it, it comes undone if your surface isn't um, it is a little porous so all you have to do is just open it back up and suction it back down very simple now, we use two shims and it's still in there, but you just punch it right out. So you could make like a one thing with a whole bunch of little punch outs or whatever. 
and then you know actually give it to somebody as a gift like that. Um, also, I'm going to show you um, using this one right here, which is this little intricate frame. And I'm going to show you that also with um, that thick cardstock. So we're going to do A plate, B plate, the nice uh, big die. Now we're going to take both shims, place them right on top. This one's a little, if it's a little more intricate, you might want to add an extra shim, um, just so it, it cuts through completely and it's easier to take out. Um, don't start adding too many shims, and if you do, make sure they're thin so you can either, you know, take them away easier, and it's easier to play with when you do that. And then you're going to take your C plate. So all I did was use the, the two shims that come with your dies and then one piece of th very thin cardstock. And it will be snug, but it will go through. And if you're not comfortable with how snug it is, just remove a shim. That's all you have to do. It's trial and error because some people's cuddle bugs are just slightly different. So now I cut that through. And then all I have to do is punch it out. And this is why I used um, multiple shims and even though it was really tight it actually did not cut all the way through. So that's you have to do trial and error because some of the dies like you saw I used this die and it cut just with two shims it cut all the way through the thicker and this die it did not. So each die is you know sometimes you have to play around just a little bit different they might just not be as a uh, the blades not, might not be as um as long, so I'll just do this with regular cardstock just so I can show you, because this die is really pretty. And I just wanted to show you the die. Now, using just regular cardstock, I still put all the shims that I did in the other one in there. Now, because the cardstock is a little bit thinner, it's not as tight. And it goes right through. And then this time, it just pops right out. So, you know, it's just a difference. This is just so intricate. But you get the, you get the gist of it. Um... Because this is intricate, it's going to take a little time to peel it apart. But So that's it. It's very simple. All the little quick cuts dies is A plate, B plate, your paper, your die face down, um, C plate, and then you just roll it right through. Uh, depending on the thickness of your paper, you may add one to three shims. Um, I recommend always using the shims that come with it. But if, uh, if you don't have enough, thin cardstock will also work. That's it. Thanks for watching. Happy scrapping. Bye.